Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. Yo, I'm back with another video, y'all. Like I said, I'm gonna be getting these videos out. And yeah, y'all. And yes, I did like three videos in a day. What about it? Um, anyways, this is the third one. But today, I'm gonna be giving advice on upcoming juniors. Cause now that I'm a senior, I'm gonna give some advice for people who's finna be a junior so don't forget to like comment and subscribe share the video comment down below any other videos that y'all like to see on my channel period and hi guys if you're new to my channel my name is jazz and yeah and if you are coming back hey y'all so we're gonna get straight into this video you is real y'all sometimes my skin want to be clear sometimes it don't like i'm really going through it right now y'all like shrinkage like everything but i just had to get the bonnet off but yeah so the first thing is time management so time management is very important not just not just juniors it's very important for everybody because like you gotta get whatever you gotta get done in a certain amount of time and time you, you you like you really can't waste time and the world that we living in right now baby time is not to be wasted and some teachers they don't give extra time like you got to get your work done right and then and there because like they're not going to grade it after that some teachers are very strict so you got to be on top of your work y'all like you literally got to be on top of your work and pay attention in class um, the next thing is, of course, complete all your work that goes with time management. Got to manage your time. If you got a whole bunch of work to do, just all I could say is really like, just get it done in that time or ask one of your homegirls to help you. I mean, that's all I could really say. Next thing, this is very big, very big in high school. Not just in high school, but like, in life in general focus on yourself focusing on yourself that oh oh i had to learn y'all focusing on yourself taking a time out for yourself because like school in general and life in general it could be stressful like everything could just be stressed stressful so you gotta take your time move away go do something with yourself like Take yourself out on like a movie day, ice cream day, go buy yourself some new books or like whatever y'all like to do or like what y'all like to read or get yourself some food. Like it's always okay to take a break from your work, like so you won't stress yourself out. Um the next thing is you use a planner. So technically, ever since COVID started, like work really been on the computer on like what's the app called i forgot what it was called but yeah like it's usually on a computer and it's just like they don't really give papers anymore but like you still want to get a planner just in case like your teacher tell you like you got a test on that day you got a test on this day or like the work is due on this day and the work is due on that day like it's always good to have a planner like you could create your own planner or you can go buy one that's already um made oh my gosh okay um oh study 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 is very important because like when you got tests and stuff like some teachers they do not let you you like use like your notes and stuff so you gotta study usually teachers will tell you that you gotta test like a week before that but some teachers they're just gonna give you a test so you might as well just study in general even though if you don't got a test that week or a day like it's still okay to study because like when it comes down to classwork or homework like you will know what to do and you won't be looking stuck. So, I don't condone cheating either, y'all, but, like, 
Google and stuff is your best friend. Google is your best friend. They might not got all the answers. They should have some so you can use Google. Um, X questions, y'all. Um, X and questions is very, 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 very important because how you supposed to know what to do or like what assignment is due or like what group you're supposed to be in and stuff like that. I'm just giving examples, but yeah, X questions. Um, coach class is very important because just in case you need extra help, um, you just need to ask questions. Even though, like, you could technically ask questions during the class day. If you feel comfortable asking your questions in front of the class, or you could just go to coach class and ask questions. Or you could either email your teacher if you cannot go to coach class. Even though teachers might not... Some teachers might not, like... How can I put this? They will read it. But then they will be like, so why didn't you not ask me this while I was in class? Maybe you didn't feel comfortable and just explain to them that. Because some teachers really do be getting smart. They be getting too smart. Um, I wrote down don't have many friends. You can have as many friends as you want, but only have people around you who motivate you and support you and who's going to help you with your goals in life and stuff like that because like who want people in your who want hold on okay I'm not bad um like I was saying was don't nobody want nobody in their life who is draining mentally draining who don't have anything going for their self who's trying to bring other people down who's talking about them and stuff like that like at this point in life, don't even care about like what nobody got to say about you. Because at the end of the day, you're getting your grade for yourself. You're not getting your grade for nobody else. Your grade is yours and you're responsible for your grade and for yourself. So, yeah. Mm, excuse me. Um... Oh, get into sports, y'all. If y'all like sports, get into sports just in case you want to keep yourself occupied and stuff like that. But like I said, 11th grade is your most important year. You got to have good grades and stuff like that. So if you feel like that being in sports and extracurricular activities is going to interfere with you getting your grades up, you don't have to. Just focus on your grades and yourself. So you won't have to stress. Um, be prepared, y'all. So that goes along with studying, having your materials every day. Because, like, I feel like it's not embarrassing. But, like, you don't want to ask everybody every day. Oh, do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have an eraser? Do you have a pen or pencil? Like, you know, that's why you have to. Be prepared with your own self and be responsible with your stuff. Don't let nobody hold your stuff because they're not going to give it back and they're going to lose it. And if, and if they ask, just be like, no, it's okay to say no. And yeah. Um, get enough sleep at home. Don't sleep in class, y'all. Y'all. Sleeping in school, I feel like... You think you don't go to school to sleep. If you wanted to sleep, like you really could have stayed home. But like if y'all not doing anything, you completed your work, you completed your tasks, you completed like whatever y'all. I mean, you could take a nap. But like if you know you got a whole bunch of work to do and you haven't even started one paper or like answer at least like a couple of problems, what are you doing? Like, you just putting yourself in jeopardy for some school at the end of the year. And, yeah. Um, build a relationship with your teacher and your peers. I mean, like, this is, like, a big part because, like, you're still going to have to work in groups. You're going you're gonna to have to talk to your teacher. You're going to have to ask your teacher questions, ask your group questions and stuff like that so like 
it's a public place. You're going to have to talk to people. You're going to have to get used to it. You're going to have to get comfortable. So, like, I feel like, in my opinion, I feel like you should already be comfortable with it. Because, like, this is literally, like, your third year. But I understand some people have anxiety and some people are scared to talk to others because, like, you never know how they may react. You never know how they may talk to you back. So, just like, yeah. But you could at least try, though. Um, y'all, my mouth dry. I'm gonna my water. Um, set goals for yourself, y'all. Like, you could set a goal, like, I want to have this by the end of the quarter. Like a, say, like at the beginning of the year, you had like a A. And then say if like the end of the quarter, you're still trying to have that same A. You could write it down be like, I want to have an A. Stuff can hit my window. But you could be like that. You want to have an A now and then you want to keep that A. Or say if like the whole school year, you start off with like a hundred and you have all A's in all of your classes. You could just... What's that word? Hmm. I forgot what it's called. But, like, you could just write it down and your wishes may come true. I mean, it's not, like, necessarily wishes. It's just, like, the matter of hard work that you put in. So, yeah. Hmm. Do college research, y'all. So, this is very important because, like, 11th grade, you take SATs and stuff like that, y'all. And, um, <clears throat> man, you take SATs, and this is the year where you can get accepted into colleges early. Or you could look at some colleges that you want, do research on them, write them down. You can go to your counselor, go to your teacher. You can ask them about them, and maybe they could hook you up. With some information and stuff like that y'all like don't be scared i mean like if you want to go to college you can but like i know a lot of people they don't want to go to college like but like i feel like if you do want to go to college 11th grade is the year that you have to work hard so you can go to a good college you can get scholarships you can get a whole lot of money all of that so if you work hard and if you get yourself out there and ask questions, go to college meetings and go to the, go to meetings with your counselors. And I also know that some schools, they go on college trips. So if you go to college trips and they go to the actual colleges, y'all can get information and y'all can know what the college is about, what do they offer, what kind of deals is it, um... Um, and if they have your major, so, yeah, because I know not all schools have your major, and, yeah. Um, take harder classes, like, if you think that your classes are too easy, just take harder classes, take classes that you know, that you know, take classes that you want more challenging of like if you know because i know like i know like they got like ap classes and stuff like that so if you know that your classes are too easy and you want to take ap classes go for it it's always good to try don't be scared um balance your academic and your social life so Basically, this means, like, balancing your school life and your outside life. So, make sure that your schoolwork is done. Make sure that you need everything. I mean, make sure that everything is done during school, in school. So, on the weekends or, like, your free time, you won't have to do no work. You won't have to worry about no work. You won't have to stress. And you can basically go do what you want, like. All your grades is up to par and stuff like that. Um, if something is due in three days, this is just an example. So if your stuff is due like in like three days, ten days or whatever, y'all. Like a school project. 
don't do it don't do it like two days before because like what if you don't get the finish do it right then and there so it can already be done so you won't have to be procrastinating asking at the last minute for help and stuff like that like do it at the last minute so it can get done because if like you wait too long it won't get done and you might forget and your grade could go down really bad you can end up with an f and we do not want that um i said that i said that okay y'all this is the end of the video um this is just tips for upcoming 11th graders y'all but yeah y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, comment about any other videos that y'all like to see on my channel, y'all. Period. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace, y'all.